Alright guys, it's uh, <clears throat> been a while since I've gotten to do a removal, but today is July 4th, so happy Independence Day. And I am celebrating my independence by freeing some bees from the floor joists of this house. So, uh, I am out in Copperfield today. Uh, it's out on 290 or Copperfield. I don't know if it's really a town or not, but that's what the area is called. Uh, south of 290 on Highway 6. Um, anyway, or off of Highway 6, but anyway, uh, we've got bees up here in the floor joists today. Um, and the homeowner has actually said that on the inside of the garage wall they've been coming out through a wire hole too, but I'm not too concerned about that. But we're going to get up there and pull down that piece of gutter, pull down that piece of corner trim, and then probably these bottom three pieces of hardy plank which terminate over thereabouts, and then we'll be able to open up that floor joist and pull them out. Okay, folks, so we got the wall opened up here. Uh, everything went really good. I only broke one piece of hardy plank in half, and I think it'll go back together easy enough, but here's our hive. Uh, you can see they're in this floor joist space here and also in this one. I don't see any comb over in this third section, but we'll take a real good look at it. This is kind of interesting on construction. This is the first I've ever seen the, the band board here be made out of three 2x4s versus just a 1x12, but actually I, I like that a lot. So hope I run into more houses that look like that. But anyway, you can see they've got lots of honey stored up over here. The homeowner's already asked to have as much as he could, so I'll hook him up. And uh, we've got some pollen and stores and honey stores here and the brood nest will be back behind that so we're gonna go ahead and swap over to our rubber gloves and start cutting right, comb. folks we're still uh, hard at it uh, this is my helper up there on the ladder this is his first time ever doing bee removals and uh, you can see because he's uh what do you need this you want me to get that all honey that's fine it'll wash off obviously the rookie the way he's letting his veil sit against his forehead i'm just waiting for him to get popped but we'll see what happens i actually asked him to get up there because he's got a little bit longer arms than me and the bees have I put the comb that deep in the house that he's actually shoulder deep just trying to fish out the last bits. Now that's in the first cavity. <clears throat> I have to excuse the vacuum. If we go over here and look, we still have the second side we haven't even started on yet. Uh, we have yet to see any brood comb or any sign of the queen. So I'm hoping she's over here on the second side because we've got to get her sometime. But we've been vacuuming the whole time and uh, cutting out lots of honeycomb. The, uh, the homeowner here, he's already got a... That trash can there is full of honeycomb. We've already sent this uh, steel pot as well full of honeycomb, so he's getting a good deal out of it. But uh, we're just cutting it out piece by piece, strapping it in the frames as you can see, and throwing it in the box, and we'll get her cleaned up. All right, so we'll just show you folks where we're at again right now. Um, we've gotten uh, all the comb cut out from up there. Uh, I still have not located the queen. This is kind of an anomaly of a hive. Uh, the, they're honey bound, I believe. Um, all I saw was pollen and honey. I never saw an, an inkling of brood, not a bit. Um, but I also didn't see any queen cells or any signs like, you know, they'd gone queenless or anything like that. So I, I really, I firmly believe that they're honey bound just because of how the bees are acting. They're, you know, they're, they're still hanging around. They're not acting real weird like they were queenless. So uh, unfortunately, I never have found the queen. I'm hoping I vacuumed her up, but, you know, we've got just chaos going on. We've got bees all over the box and there's some bees hanging out on the screen, but not so much to uh, make me believe that the queen is in there. Um, but anyway, we're going to seal this up at the homeowner's request. So we just went to Lowe's and we got uh, insulation. We're going to stuff insulation in that cavity real good. Uh, and we were able to salvage all the hardy plank and all the gutter pieces and everything. So we'll stuff insulation in there, nail that band boarding back up there, and then nail the hardy plank back up. And we'll seal, seal all around that perimeter with uh, silicone caulk. So that should be, should be good. All right, so, so that's what's left, folks. We, uh, we buttoned it all right back up the way it was. You can still see there's, there's quite a bit of activity up there. And again, on this job, I'm a little concerned because I never did find the queen. It was, it was an odd situation in that they were honey bound, so the queen wasn't anywhere indicative. She should have been on the brood nest, but since there was no brood nest, there was no queen to be found. Um, I think she's around here somewhere. I don't know if I got her or not, but we definitely sealed it up tighter than we found it. So we'll just uh, hope for the best and hope less, the rest of the bees that are hanging around, I think, are mostly just robbers and stuff. So. We'll just hope they uh, move on here in a day or two and everything's good. So that's all for now.